All right, guys, so I have another quick video for you because you know I like to be straight to the point and I don't like to waste your time. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the dealer emblem, the little sticker that the dealerships put on there, and we're also going to install some crossbars on this 2016 Forerunner. So the first thing I do is I grab a razor blade. And normally I like to use the smaller razor blades. I normally don't like using one this big, but it's all I have. It's the box cutter razor blade. Uh, but what I do is I take it and I lay it down flat against the paint or as flat as I can and then I just kind of glide over the paint and pop the the lettering part off of the sticker. Now it's going to leave some glue on the bottom side of it. Not a big deal because we're going to take that off with some thinner. But you just got to real carefully kind of roll that razor blade back and forth and remove that top part of the sticker. And I hate how every dealership puts these on the cars. They're so tacky and they always get real brittle and crack and look like crap just a few years down the road. So I always remove them whenever I buy a brand new car. They're the first thing that comes off. And if you get them on them when they're new, they're easier to take off. So now that we got all the stickers off, we're going to take some lacquer thinner. And that lacquer thinner is going to remove the excess glue that's left on the panel. So as you can see, I've already started. I got some of that glue off. Now I'm just taking it for the second time, going back over it, cleaning off, and look how quickly the lack of thinner evaporates. It's gone in a heartbeat. So if you take it and do it a few times, keep changing your rag, like flip your rag over so you don't have that glue smearing back on the panel again, and you just look at it. It's beautiful. It's perfect. No scratches, no imperfections or anything. Perfect and done. Now the next thing we're going to do is install these crossbars. Now this is the first time I'd ever installed these crossbars on this particular model and all you have to do is pop the back cover off. So you can leave the front cover alone on the roof rail. And you're just going to get up under it. It's got four little tabs. You're just going to get up under it and kind of pull, pop them out and up. Uh, and I'm using a rag or like a paper towel just so I don't scratch the paint. They should come with some little rubber uh, tools to pry on, but this one didn't have any. There's two on one side, two on the other. If you just take it and kind of rock it back, you see the tabs with the arrows pointed to them. This is the only thing that holds that part on, and that's where it's actually held on, on the actual roof rail. So... After that, you just take the crossbars and you slide them up. Make sure you put the front one in the front pointing the correct direction and the rear one in the rear pointing the correct direction. There's a couple of Torx bits that you'll have to torque down uh, on the actual crossbar itself and then just hand tighten them to the rail and you're all done. And I'm going to take a brief moment just to say that I really wish that people who made YouTube videos when it comes to installation of things, I wish they were quick and to the point. And I always try to be quick and to the point and give you just the information that you need and not a bunch of filler crap that you don't need. But uh, I really appreciate you guys watching my videos and I really am grateful for your support. So leave a like and comment because I always love hearing from you.